Hi friends, welcome to our uh, channel. The short video on what you can do in uh, Cancun. We visited uh, Cancun a couple of weeks ago and this is a short video on uh, what uh, you can do there. So as you can see in this map, Cancun is uh, very specially located. It has got a lagoon on which a lot of hotels are uh, lined up and uh, from the airport and if you drive towards the hotels, you can get to see a lot of hotels on the seashore. So this is uh, one view that we uh, took from our hotel. So you can get this ocean front uh, view as you uh, sit in the hotel. And again, um, as you can see uh, in this um, video, we have uh, taken a picture of uh, all the hotels that are lined up as we drive from uh, the airport towards the hotels where we stayed. So you can see it's totally lined up with hotels and um, what I think any seashore town that uh, can really make use of it. So this is one good example of uh, what um, the commercialization that can happen. And as you can see, one of some of the hotels are very expensive. One of them is the Ritz where uh, one night costs around $600. Can you imagine? So that's how uh, pricey the hotels are and uh, really it's um, expensive depends depending on your choice you can uh, choose the hotel and again if you want a uh, ocean front view and then definitely it's going to cost you more because uh, then you get to see the ocean and take uh, pictures really it is a good uh, point that's something uh, we should not miss. It's good to have a view in the ocean front and if you really like to have uh, drinks definitely Cancun is one good place where booze is uh, cheaper than water. That's the funny thing about uh, On day one of the trip we visited the Mayan ruins in Acropolis. So this is uh, the Mayan picture. So we need to understand the Mayans beliefs. The Mayans believed that uh, they were direct descendants of the gods from the heaven. And as you can see in this picture, they have the heaven and then the current world and then the nether world. So the kings were supposed to descend directly from the heaven. And uh, the nobles, they, they believed that they were also descendants of the gods and accordingly they built high structures. So we couldn't uh, visit Chichen Itza because of some controversies and instead we went to the Acropolis as you can see in this uh, picture. So we climbed this uh, 90 steps as you can see and it's pretty tall and uh, pretty time consuming and uh, definitely if you have uh, knee pain or other things we won't advise you to climb and definitely I did climb and I did face, uh, I get, did get some knee pain, but it's worth it once. And then you can, and this is me on top of this uh, Acropolis. And we can see a panoramic view of the surroundings. As you can see, uh, everything around it and more mostly forested uh, land. And this is on top of this Acropolis. Next, we come to this uh, beautiful lake that the Mayans were using during their times. As you can see, when sun sh sunlight falls on the rocks and reflects, really the water looks beautiful. You can, it's uh, definitely worth uh, watching it. And I did take a couple of uh, pictures and uh, definitely it will be a real uh, memorable experience. But And you can't get into the lake as it is too deep, 150 feet, or you need to have uh, uh, required clothing to really have life jackets to get in. The guy took us to a place, uh, Baja Dolid. So, well, if you see all the Mayan ruins were made of uh, limestone and after the Mayans were defeated by the Spaniards who defeated them in the 1500s, 1600s, they took away all their uh, monuments, all their living. So, 50% of uh, the Mayan ruins were destroyed, all the limestone was taken away and if you can see all these buildings, they are all made of, uh, all made of uh, limestone and um, you can see even this church also 
as that's coming up uh, you can see that's also made of uh, limestone all created with uh, mayan uh, ruins and uh, remain what the guy told us was 50% of the mayan uh, ruins were taken away by the spaniards and uh, really 30% is yet to be excavated and only 20% has been really taken that's what we see in chichen itza and this acropolis now enjoy some mexican classical dance <laughs> on day 2 of our uh, trip to cancun we went to this uh, lexi island that's uh, situated at least an hour uh, or so um, by boat so we took uh, like a fishing trawler i would say it we can't call it as a big uh, this ship or boat or something so it's like more of i would say a small uh, trawler mainly for uh, snorkeling help people uh, in snorkeling so on the way to this uh, island we did indulge in some uh, snorkeling where we got inside the water and just did some snorkeling and after that we went to this island where we can enjoy some good uh, massage and nice uh, food plus of course what else you can say tequila uh, mexico's um, famous rum and the beach is uh, really good it's not too rough so we can enjoy the beach and the really the waves touching your feet and going receding so it was really a good experience and we are showing some pictures from uh, this so other than the beach and the water not much to say and but it's really an enjoyable trip of course it's a good uh, vacation the third day we went to this rio secreto so that's a trip that's going to the mayans uh, underworld i would say we had posted one picture earlier i am reposting it again uh, here as you can see the mayans believed that they descended from the heaven and then again they believed in the heavens the current world and nether world and in the nether world they had this uh, water bodies where they they had seen this uh, formations they are all made of uh, limestone so in this area of yucatan uh, peninsula limestone is available in abundance so what generally happens is that in this caves when the rain falls on the top so it uh, seeps through the sand and slowly starts condensing into this uh, limestone and uh, forms these uh, crystals so if you touch these crystals they are going to wither away that they tend to become uh, black but again uh, mayans believe in this uh, that in this cave so these caves are nearly like around 30 miles in length which have not been fully explored yet so what they showed us in these caves were only around 2 uh, miles or so so what uh, the, the olden days the mayans used to carry only a uh, torch and uh, go in the water which was quite deep and uh, swim across and get out of the other side of the caves so if they really got out of the other side of the cave they were deemed as uh, brave folks and that's how the mayan history built so we as uh, tourists went into this enjoyed the see uh, water water and went around shown by the guide so no pictures were allowed because uh, all the pictures were taken by the rio secreto team no cell phones were allowed for that matter so we couldn't really take any specific uh, pictures but it was a good uh, visit uh, overall
friends please wear your mask at all times don't go out unnecessarily that's the way you can stop the spread of covid Thanks for watching. In the video, you like to share and subscribe. Thanks.